to my YouTube channel. So in today's video is episode two of Tutorial Tuesday. And as you can see by on my face, this is the look that we are gonna be doing today. So if you do wanna carry on watching today's video, please do leave a cat like and a comment down below. And yeah, tell me what you think of this look. And the palette that we're gonna be using today is the Mama Mitchell Feet on the Ground palette. This is a palette I haven't picked up in a while and I thought, you know what? This would be a perfect palette for me to do a look on. And it means we can add some color into these tutorials as well as my last tutorial was more of a neutral look this is definitely more on the colorful side and hopefully in my next tutorial we can do some more color or some more neutrals but if you do want to make a decision on any of the looks and stuff like that a lot of the time I will be asking my patrons for advice on a different makeup looks and stuff so if you do want to have input in my videos please do become a patron it's down below it really does help me out um, paying my bills because there are a lot. I never thought how much bills would be but we move but yeah this is the look in today's video and this is the little zoom in. We did a, a little like a circle like a rounded eye with shimmer and then kind of buffed it out a little bit with like lighter shades so it still gives you that snatch look but still giving you like rounded eyes and I feel it's so pretty with the pink blush and a light nude lip so yeah if you want to see what products I use in today's video please do carry on watching. <laughs> So yeah, let's get into this. So I've already got my brows on. I used the Primark pencil and I used the same as yesterday and then just to carve them out, XX Revolution concealer. It's the same as last week's video, so there's no point redoing it. Um, so yeah, I actually filmed last Tuesday's video yesterday. So I'm just kind of pre-filming a few of these tutorial Tuesdays. So then we have a few already done. So I don't have to panic because Halloween is literally like taking over my life. This concealer definitely does oxidize once it's on your lid. Okay, now that is zoomed done, let's zoom you in. And we, today we're gonna be playing with the Mama Mitchell Feet on the Ground palette. I haven't actually picked this up since I did a review on it. So I thought this is the perfect time to sit down and play with it. it does what it comes with a case. This palette is like 45 pounds. I was debating selling it because I just don't pick it up enough, but it's still a, such a beautiful palette and I don't have anything like it. It's just rarely I sit down playing with green. So I'm gonna make use of this palette today. This is what the palette looks like. I'm feeling doing like a rounded greenish shimmery eye. Not like shimmery, just like a shimmer on the lid type of eye with this today. So yeah, let's get involved. If you can hear barking in the background, just ignore it. I don't have time to be sitting here waiting for the dog to stop barking. So one eye on camera, one eye off camera. You guys know the drill. First, I'm gonna go in with the Jessup 227 brush. It's just this like fluffy kind of brush. And I think I'm gonna go into the shade Earth Child, which is this shade here. So you obviously have already seen what the look already looks like. I feel like that's just a lot more inviting and people want to stay longer to see how the look ends instead of waiting all the way to the end to see what it looks like. You get me? The thing is, this palette, it blends beautifully. It is a beautiful palette. It's just tones that I don't really pick up as much. This is definitely going on the eye a lot more green than it is in the pan. In the pan, it's more of like a muted, dirty green. There is also a black in this palette. I do remember that I didn't actually like the black in this palette because it's not very pigmented that is only that shade that is like that. Sad, but truthful. Now just kind of tickling the edges to slightly blend it out, just with the same brush, makes my life easier. I want these tutorials to be quick little tutorials, not nothing crazy. I would do like crazy tutorials, like loads of cut creases and stuff like that. Like I'm not saying there's no cut creases in these tutorials because there is, but when I do like multiple of them on one look, um, that'll be, kind of once in a while because I simply at the moment just don't have the time to be sitting here for like five six hours doing makeup I can sit here right now I've got an hour and a half to get this done but yeah that's the shade on so far it's actually a really beautiful shade and it goes on really well now I'm gonna go in with this brush which is a Jessup 227 these are the same brush they don't look like the same brush one's slightly fluffier it's misleading me. Um, I will go in with this shade at the top here to deepen this out in a minute, but to blend this out, I wanna go in with, no, I need a shade between these two. I'm gonna go in with this shade here, which is Chameleon, and then I'll go in with the shade Bittersweet, which is underneath the color I just used. Just kind of buff that in straight away. That just blended straight, love that. Next, I'm gonna go in with the Orchid this yellow shade is actually a really good yellow especially for a individual brand individually owned are they individually owned brand that's just like this was one of their first collections or is it the first collection that they dropped and it's a very good 
collection. I actually bought myself this collection for my 18th birthday. Love that. Okay, next I'm actually gonna go in with a Jessup 231, which is like a smaller, denser brush. And I'm gonna go in with the shade Board in the House. Now I'm gonna deepen and go into all of those shades again. So zoom through this. Now going back into the first child, first color that I used, which was Earth Child, and just buffing that out. As I said in last week's video, um, if you guys want, what's that shade looking like that? Okay, that deep shade, Board in the House, is actually patchy. I don't think I used it last time, but that will get covered anyway. But as I said in last week's video, if you guys want me to do certain looks, DM me on Instagram, or even just like leave a comment down below, be like, I've DM'd you a look, because Otherwise, I've got to think of makeup looks. My brain cells just can't do that right now. <laughs> There's a whole lot of things going up in, in this brain. I've got a designer flat and everything. So I'm actually going to go into the black shade. I am very scared because I remember this wasn't a very good black. Like, for a black that's pretty much just grey, I want to dig my finger in there. It's getting a bit better, but it's really nothing. Like, I am digging to get anything up. And that's still quite very i think it's just pressed way too hard yeah i think i'm gonna go in with that black but if it doesn't work then i'm just gonna quickly grab a black from another palette i don't like this black at all but you can actually see where i've rubbed my finger it seems like there's pigment just kind of swiped straight off and the gray underneath it's not a very good black at all i'm just kind of putting this on to cover up the green whatever happened there the green was such a nice shade as well. Where that black isn't too pigmented, I can literally swirl my brush in and then slowly add. Okay, that's covered up the patch. Now back into that first shade we used, Earth Child. Blend this out. You know what, that blended really easily. So that's the eye so far, but I wanna go in with some shimmers. And the shimmers I wanna use, there's so many shimmers in this, that is so beautiful. The shimmers in this palette are unreal, especially this one. They're so like creamy. That looks like it looks stunning. Then we have grass. I remember my boyfriend actually really liked that shade. I think I'm gonna go in with the grass on the base and then lighten up a little bit with the shade Mama's Garden and then grass. I am actually gonna use my fingers because fingers always work best. So grass on my finger. These just hit so pretty. Yeah, that's the perfect tone for like the eye tones that we're going for at the moment. And then when I add the green, the Mama's Garden, adds a really pretty pop of like true green but that is stunning and <laughs> literally that's the look let me add a little inner corner shimmer for today's video it literally has to be a quick one because i have no time so in the inner corner i'm using the shade bless you which is this inner corner shade here i'm gonna use the same shade for me brow bone stunning do i add a little bit on my lid the shimmers in this palette are to die for like they are top-notch quality very good some of the mattes are questionable and that's fine like this shade went patchy the black is just not black it's i definitely think there's like it's gray with like a black overspray maybe because it's just not good at all this random purple yeah it has like a little purple here just confuses me but this is the look so far um i hope you like this i actually quite like how this looks i'm surprised at how well this has come out to be honest i'm gonna quickly go off camera do the other eye and then i'll be back okay i am now back with both eyes done i don't know what it is i just can't get them to look similar like one eye is definitely more round like this eye has definitely got more roundness to it and this eye is definitely more better for half cut crease because it's just kind of like a weird shape it's just my eyeballs okay it's just my eyeballs but that's the look i will do my under eyes in a minute but Let's get into start doing my base because we need to do something about this. This is questionable. No, I need to do my mascara and lashes. How could I forget about that? We move. Mascara, as always, gonna be the Maybelline Sky High, so I will just zoom through this because you don't want to see the same thing over and over again. Life is boring otherwise. I just put myself in the eye. I'm gonna go in with the Esmeralda lashes that I used in the last video just because, yeah, but well, I'll come back when they're on because it takes me forever to stick them on. But I think I'm actually gonna use my black lash today because this sticks better. Okay, I am back with my lashes on. These are the Esmeralda lashes from uh, Doll Beauty. They're such a beautiful lash, but for some odd reason, this one sat upright more than this one. <sighs> I don't know, but these definitely went on a lot better today. I think it's just the black one's definitely my favorite. 
so good let's actually start to prime my skin so i'm actually gonna go in with not massive primer gel but when i do use a primer i use one that i'm liking at the moment so i'm gonna use the laura messier one because i like that and oh my god there's green on my face there is green on my face do you know what rub it in grinch myself it's fine do you know what i actually don't think i need more than that i put way too much on yesterday this feels so good it just gives this like such a beautiful glow to the skin i love it okay next i'm gonna put some eye cream on you guys know i've been having this eye cream so far and it's just really good and really expensive and i don't want to cry but here we are it's the laura mercier eye cream what is it actually called it's the laura mercier illuminating eye cream it just helps with my under eyes a lot and i find whenever i put it on there's this like pinky tone that it like shifts for some odd reason crusty but since i've been using this every time i do my makeup my under eyes have actually been better like they haven't been as dry as puffy as much as well so really has been helping me so much so yeah if you suffer with your under eyes such a beautiful cream it's just so expensive like that is just one product i can probably fend paying the 50 pound for a whole one uh when it comes back in stock i probably will get it because it's so bloody good but yeah next i'm actually gonna do a concoction so as you guys know i love these two foundations which are both from nars and One's in shade Duval and I actually got rid of my other one of these that was in shade Duval because it was just too dark and I got the shade Oslo which Nas said was my shade and it's not, it's too light and it's too pink. This one's too dark and too yellow but the mixture of them both first of all gives me the perfect coverage because this has a little bit more coverage and it doesn't make it too matte or too shiny like the mixture of them both is kind of everything and if you haven't tried that yet try it because it's actually really stunning i usually put more of this one because this one's a little bit light for me but i can always add a bit more darkness but i add about three or four little pumps the pumps on this is literally like a quarter pump so i actually got this off depop no vintage depop um girl ch charged me only 15 pounds for it and it was brand new so i was like yeah thank you uh but i sold my other one to one of my patrons if you want to become a patron you actually get first access to any of my makeup that i'm selling um i'm just gonna do a little squidge poop on top um so yeah the patrons always get first access so if i have a expensive palette that i think is gonna go pretty quickly i will offer it to my patrons first so if you do want that early access then become a patron link down below there's so many positives to becoming a patron i do need to get better with it though there's some things I need to do. Like, I want to do patron only videos and stuff like that. At the moment, I'm literally just trying to find time to do normal videos. So as soon as I can do patron only videos, I will. Because the Radiant Longwear Foundation is too pink and too light and the um, soft matte is too yellow and too dark, the mixture of them both makes this beautiful neutral shade, which is everything. So look at that. I don't know. I think in every video, I want to try and use different foundations. So I'm not using the same one every time because I was actually going to use my Too Faced one. And I haven't actually used this foundation in a while and I also look insane right now. So ignore me. Now we blend. This shade's just a lot better. Like it blends into my neck 10 times better than both of these shades separately. <laughs> Might be a tiny bit too light, I put a bit too much lightness, but better too light than too dark because you can always darken it up with cream contour. When I want full coverage, I want full coverage. No playing of games over here. I look like a ghost right now, but I always do whenever I put my foundation on. Now I put concealer on it, it looks worse and it's just like, oh no. Oh my god, I look like a ghost. <sighs> If you guys can like tell me what shade I am in the NARS foundations would be great. If I had another spending loads of money, I'm trying to find my shade and I just can't find it. Okay, thank you. Much appreciated. Um, next, I think I'm actually gonna use my Huda Beauty Tantal. I haven't used it in like forever, so thought we'd switch up the products I'm using. I have made a good old dent in this though. See so today I think I'm gonna go for a pink blush because yesterday I was doing more brownie tones so I'd go peach but when it's like greenish tones I think pink blush just looks stunning on. This is in the shade Fair so it's the lightest shade. I did actually at one point want to get the shade up which was light. It would work for me but I think I'll use this one up first before I buy another one. I look so Casper the Ghost right now. Maybe I need more of this. Thing is with this, you can really pile it on and it just blends. I'm gonna use this little brush and just, this is the BH We Can Vibe 6 brush. Just kind of create some lines, slowly blend it out. Really wondering how long it's gonna take before my camera starts flashing at me going, 
I'm dying. I love the Huda Beauty Tantal. It's more of that cool tone as well. It's not too bronzy, which I actually quite like. I quite like it for like looks like this. It just hits different. I think I'm actually going to use... I either have my Milk Cosmetics in like, Polished or I can use this one. I want to use both. Okay, I have the cheek side on here. It's just like a pinky blush. Rubbing my brush up in there. I think swirly motions are better. Got that pig pigment. Pink blush is just so pretty with green eyes. These are the blush sticks from Beauty Bay. They are stunning. The only reason I didn't want to use it in today's video is because I've been literally using them 24 seven, but then I realized I've been using them 24 seven off camera. So I was like, you know what? We use them. Peach one, I think it's like half finished already. It's the only thing I don't like about these is that the, you don't get a lot of product on the cheek side. I wish it was just all cheek, so cheek and lip, because I actually don't use them for my lips. I could use the other side as cheek, because it is actually very pigmented. I just, chose not too recently don't know why but i'm actually gonna go in with the polished melt one because it has a little bit of a shimmer to it which i like at the bottom of my beauty blender and just kind of bounce that beauty like a bouncy ball it's not even transferring twist oh twist more oh. okay maybe too much blush oh that's scary you can never have too much blush you can you can you can becca and i think you have too much now this one, when I put concealer on, it literally dies it down 10 levels, so it's fine. These Milk Cosmetic blushes are stunning. Oh, you'll be proud of me. Today I'm actually filming at 2.44. It's 2.44 and I'm like this. Um, in the afternoon, so yeah. I thought I'd do it before Max's mum gets home from work. Because it's quiet now and it's not usually quiet. Um, next, I'm actually going to go in with the L'Oreal Infallible. Haven't used this longest time. I actually used it the other day, but not anywhere else i'm literally gonna put that much on i don't want a lot of this at all because this has serious coverage but i am also gonna let that sit as well on my skin whilst i prepare the powder that i'm gonna use okay i'm actually gonna blend out my facial concealer before i do my under eyes Okay, next thing. I've just blended out my creases on camera because my boyfriend was on the phone. Do you see how it's kind of muted down the pink? Because obviously putting concealer afterwards just kind of dies down the overload I put on. But that's fine. I'd rather put too much and then put concealer on to cover it than put too little and then have to add more later on. It's just long. Next, I'm going to go in with this powder and I'm actually going to set my whole entire under because I've already done my creams. That's also another good thing about doing your concealer last. You can do this just sparse because it's so good. This powder will always be for my under eyes because it's so bloody good. And this brush is the Beauty Bay one from the Pride Collection. This is the number seven press powder. It just makes my under eyes just so flawless. Now that powder's done, it's number seven perfect light powder. You actually watched me do the video. It's actually really good, really pretty. Next, I'm gonna actually use this powder. It's the I Heart Revolution one. I just want to finish this one off at the moment so then I can get onto other powders because otherwise I have way too many powders that are open at the same time. So just using my other powder brush from Beauty Bay. Just found out that I literally have like 10 minutes to finish this off and does it look like I'm ready? This powder is so good and it's only a fiver and you get so much product like how could you not? Okay that powder's done there is now powder everywhere go Becca. Next, setting spray. Gonna use this one just because it's better for when I have soap brows, because otherwise if I use too harsh of a, soap, a setting spray, it just undoes my soap brows, because obviously water activates soap brows and it also melts it away. Such a beautiful setting spray as well. This is only a tenner and it's so bloody good. It smells so good, feels good, sets my skin so beautifully. Okay, next I want to use bronzer, but I'm actually going to use a bronzer I haven't used in a while. Where is it? I'm going to use the Kiko Milano bronzer. This is from their, what set? Unexpected Paradise set. This is in 02. I'm just using my Neil Brittany brush because this is just stunning. This bronzer, you can literally go like this and you'll be fine, so... Okay, swirling my brush up in here because I just need, I don't have time to be sitting here building it up. It's such a beautiful bronzer. It's one of those like lighter bronzers. You can't really go dark with it, which is what I really like to pair with my Huda Beauty because it's stunning. A little bit down my nose. That's on, stunning, love that. Next, I'm actually gonna use my new Laura Mercier blush and it's in the shade Strawberry. It is their blush color in 
Fusion. This is like a pink shade, so adding even more blush because why not? And it's stunning. How pretty is this shade? This reminds me of the Dior one that Carla Jana uses, the color wise. Um, this is £22, so not going to break your bank as much as Dior will, but we move. It's so stunning as well. It is a matte blush, but it's absolutely beautiful. Stunning, little bit on the nose because I've already got quite a lot there. Comment what you think of this look. If you like it, if you don't, I want to know your opinions. Look stunning. I actually want to go on with a blush topper and I actually got this from TK Maxx. Uh, my friend Alex got me this. It was 3 dollars at TK Maxx and it actually retails £20.70p. And it is this De Weaver. So this is it. These are Weaver. Oh, that's all fingerprints. And um, this is the blush topper. Like, I'm sorry. How stunning. Look at all my mess. We move. But how stunning is that? Just want to use a little bit of this and just... Just add, like where this is a fully matte blush and I want a little bit of a sheen to it, but I also don't want to change the colour too much. This is perfect for that. Just add a glow. Look at that. It's a definitely a blush topper. Add a little bit here to add a little bit of highlight. I actually use this in a Halloween look as a highlighter. I do, you do have to build it up a bit, but still stunning. Those two paired together, just beautiful. That is the Zoeva Visionary Light Multi-Use Face Powder in the shade Supreme. So that's what that is. Uh, what highlighter do we want to use? You know what, let's actually use this. We're going to use the Kiko Une is this Unexpected Paradise. It's from the same collection as the bronzer. And this is the highlight, how stunning. Just going to quickly spray my face just in this area. You guys know the drill. It just makes it look 10 times better as it melts it into the skin instead of just kind of sitting on top. Getting my brush and going in literally just a bit because to be honest i don't want too much because i did add that blush topper as well so uh next i need my tiny little brush i use my inner corners i'm going to use this to contour my nose um, okay. i didn't know what drink you wanted so i guessed and got the zero sugar rub you know yeah that's fine why is my highlight a green would you like the look yeah that's nice thank you i'm doing tutorial tuesday times did you accidentally match it with your jumper how did you clock me? <laughs> How did he clock me? I actually did want to wear a green jumper because I was doing green eyeballs. Let's say you know your boyfriend knows you too much. I don't know what I'm doing. That's what I'm doing. Just quickly grabbing the palette again. And we're gonna quickly run some shades underneath the eye. Literally underneath the eye, nothing special. I don't really like doing anything like insane. I'm using this little Morphe slash Sweetie brush. Sweetie. That was English. Just tipping into Board in the House and Earth Mine. A mixture of these hopefully won't go patchy, but I need the depth. Stunning. Love that. I actually mix those shades together. I literally create the most perfect shade. I hate doing my under eye. It's just so uncomfortable. I'm going to quickly grab that brush that we used for the yellow, and I'm going to use it to... Just kind of wing out this bit a little bit more. I don't know, I want it out more. Me and my boyfriend were watching Legally Blonde the other day and he was secretly enjoying that. We actually ended up watching both movies that day. So Legally Blonde 1 and Legally Blonde 2. Such good films. Like you definitely have to kind of get past the point of like the girliness of it, but it's enjoyable. Okay, now that's done. I need a slightly fluffy brush. Is it this one? Yeah, I'm gonna literally use this and just tickle underneath my eye to blend it a tiny bit. Then I'm gonna go in with the shade here, Chameleon. Literally just to blend it a little bit. Not too much, because as soon as I go too dark underneath the eye, it just, it's too much and I don't like it. I still like this palette, that's the thing. I just still can't decide whether I'll keep it or not because of how many times I do green. It's just not a lot. Like, do you know when you can't fend for keeping something because you just don't use it a lot? That's me. But it's still a stunning palette. Um, I think I just kind of have to decide. I think because it's £45, I'm just like, it's a lot of money for a palette. A lot. I didn't pay that. I paid £90 for the two big ones and the little one. I actually sold the little one because uh, I didn't actually like it. Sold it a while ago, actually didn't like it at all from the first tutorial. It's some shimmers were just, mm, some matters were a little questionable, but this is more good than bad, which is good. But I used the other one 
so much more the head and the clouds so i can fend for keeping that one okay next put a mascara on the bottom lash line okay bottom lash line on i can see the look coming together and i love it i remember the original look that i did to this palette i absolutely adore like i adored that look so much um i'll recreate it one day maybe but this is the look that we've gone through through today and i actually really like how it's turned out how pretty it's just kind of like a circle moment with like the blown out keeping it circle here and then blowing it out i don't know i really like that look usually when i just keep it circle and don't blow it out my eyes look really small so this is my trick of making my eyes still look extended without having to wing out all the eyeshadow just like the buffing shades but next i actually want to do we're gonna actually go in in with the primark toast lip liner haven't used this in a long time. Very pretty lip liner. I just haven't sharpened it very well recently. This lip liner is only a pound as well. Like, what the hell? And when I got it, it was actually the last one on the shelf. And I was looking for it for ages. It's actually in my testing Primark makeup video. But that video is my most watched video. I think it's at 5.6k at the moment. And I saw it the other day and I was like, are you serious? That, that video was just kind of a wing it. Like, okay, do that, see what happens. It was just a fun video. I thought, yeah, let's do a full face of makeup as I was there buying clothes. Because I put lip balm on. This is like really hard to put on. But it's actually a really nice tone. I literally still have the tag on it. That's the only thing I don't like about these lip liners. You cannot get this plastic off. So at the moment we've used Primark eyebrow pencil and Primark thing. I would have used the Primark contour stick, but I can't keep using the same thing. But you know what? Let's go full Primark lip. I'm gonna use the Primark lipstick in the shade Naked. I don't actually like wearing this for too long because it actually bunches up on the inner part of my lips. Um, but for like short term wear, it's actually a really nice lipstick. And it smells like vanilla. <laughs> I don't know why, but whenever I do a green lip, I green eyes, I have to do a really light nude lip. Like it's just, it is different. Stunning. Then I'm gonna go in with the BH Do Not Disturb lip gloss. This is actually a plumping lip gloss. I don't think it is actually. I think it was just a lip gloss, but this is definitely plumping. This tingles and it does a lot of business to my lips. Oh, but it's such a pretty gloss. It's also nine pounds though. And you don't get a lot of product. The tube is very misleading. You do not get a lot. Oh, and it has these glitters in and it just, mm. So perfect, little light nude lip, and this is just it. I can feel the tingle to start. The tingling is starting, but my darling, my darling, my darling, my hair is still manic and crazy and curly and doing its own business right now, but we're just gonna let go of it, to be honest. But yeah, this is the final little look. So let me show you up close. This is it. The skin is absolutely everything. I love a pink blush tone especially with greens i think those two together is just beautiful with a really light nude lip as well stunning can we just love like this lipstick was like 2.50 so like my lips are if the lip gloss was like lower priced then my lips could be basically a whole just a five hundred you go i mean but it's not but without the gloss my lips are like 3.50 insane but this is the up close and personal my skin is just looking so good bloody good and the eyes i love i think this tutorial will stand out really well uh this is episode two of tutorial tuesdays and i'm just so happy with how this turned out you know what i miss doing green makeup looks to be honest and i think i should do some more hopefully pick up this palette a lot more and trying to get through all my palettes in this like series so then if you guys have not seen a palette in a while i'm gonna try and make that do a little appearance there's a few palettes i haven't actually used in videos which is insane so i'll start to use them as well but zoom me out a tiny bit but this is the final little makeup look so hopefully you enjoyed today's video and how the look came out and all the products that i used if there's products that you guys know that are in my collection that you want me to use as well please do tell me down below anything you really want to see tell me because that's what tutorial tuesdays are for for me to use up the products that i have so yeah this is absolutely everything on the look i hope you enjoyed today's video and yeah thank you guys so much for watching if you did like this video please do leave a like comment down below and yeah if you are going to be recreating this uh, look then i want to see it dm me your looks or do anything comment down below tell me you're going to be 
recreating them I don't know I just thought such a pretty little look to do and I feel stunning in it and I feel like this is such a classic green little look green eyes pink blush really light nude lip this is a light nude lip for me this might not be a light nude lip for a lot of other people but yeah thank you guys so much for watching today's video I love you guys and I will see you guys in the next episode bye guys